the Merit team officially handed over the Mine Closure Plan to Irna Silver Resources, which is a state-owned company that co-developed the plan. The mine site itself is in the mid-Gobi Desert, and it's, it's a wide expanse of, of sparsely vegetated land. There's camels and there's, there's sheep all over the place, even, even very close to the mine site. I was very excited because this closure, the mine closure event marks the culmination of almost two years of work. Every member of the planning team made a short presentation on their technical areas. So they talked about landform design, climate change, environment. They talked about a monitoring framework and how to develop meaningful stakeholder engagement processes. Landform design is a process by which landforms originally created by mining are designed to be safe after closure and reintegrated into the surrounding natural environment. Landform design takes an integrated, multidisciplinary and collaborative approach. And it's very much a conversation that happens with the stakeholders, especially with the community members, because once you decide on how that land will be used, the land form should be designed in a way to allow for that usage. The community said, we want to return it to grazing. We want to be able to go back and graze our animals on this land. So the team had to look at the options for landform design and ensure that it could be returned to that state and that the animals would be safe grazing in the land. So ensuring that all the contaminants were removed from the soils and that the landforms would be safe for both animals and people. I've heard from our team that the consultative approach was such that they even had a children's competition where children could share their concerns and draw pictures of what they would like their, their land to look like after a mine closed and their concerns about what could happen when, when mining takes place. And just to have, you know, not only the herders, but the families and children also, you know, participate in that process. The herders said they've never, ever before had that sort of consultation and be able to participate and really share their needs and concerns. So that was something that was very touching for me to know that that as a project, we've made such a difference that the herders, the families all felt heard. The strategy was to inform and educate the stakeholders to build that common understanding and also a sense of ownership in the process and in its outcomes. When I think, okay, in five to 10 to 20 years, what's this site gonna look like? The successfully reclaimed mine site will be available for community use, including grazing, and we hope to see native wildlife starting to use the area. Through the participation in the process, the regulators increased their capacity to both provide oversight and support throughout the mine closure process to other companies, to industry. And they also became more aware of their own needs to strengthen their capacity. And this is a point that was brought out in the handover conference by the, by the government itself. And the local consultants have increased their knowledge and skills to develop mine closure plans. And now they can be engaged by small and medium companies in Mongolia because not all companies can afford to bring external experts. In terms of the future of mining in Mongolia, the country is strengthening its governance uh, by updating its minerals and environmental laws and regulations. And the Mine Closure Plan pilot is setting an industry standard for mine closure plans. And it'll be used to identify the gaps and the improvements to legislation. The moment that I realized this process was making a difference was when I participated in the stakeholder sessions that set the goals and objectives of the closure plan. The sessions included the senior government officials, local government officials, and community leaders, as well as the entire technical planning team. We were all learning so much about mine closure planning, but it was through this process of informing and educating that community members could really participate on a level playing field with the government and industry officials. First of all, a request coming from government in that they recognized that this is really a need that they wanted to address. The fact that they trusted us with this project and they actually said they wanted to work with us because they liked our collaborative process where we always take into account the local needs and we listen and we learn. That was the exciting part. 
at the community level, the jobs and procurement through the supply chain. And we've seen it increase the household income and generate employment, and that leads to better lives. I originally grew up in Mongolia, and much like many Mongolian families, I used to spend every summer growing up in the countryside. I've also seen this identity and lifestyle threatened by environmental issues like water pollution, land pollution, desertification, and climate change. So that's why I wanted to work for Catalyst Plus on this merit project, because I wanted to work for a project that was strengthening the public sector and strengthening communities so that existing natural resource activities are properly managed and the communities in the end don't have to suffer the consequences. I would say thank you for the trust that you put in Merit and Catalyst Plus to lead this important project. We feel very honored to be able to work closely and collaboratively with government and stakeholders to help bring this very important project to a close and to be able to hand over very important documents and frameworks that would help to lead the process going forward for my enclosure and that we could see that we contributed to making a difference for strong economies and better lives and Bayatla. I'd, I'd certainly say Bayatla, which is which is thank you. Thank you for, for allowing us to work with you on this process and for, for believing in us and giving us your time and your resources and your, your trust to work together to produce these great results. Монголчууд бид үнсэн газар угаасан усаа хамгаалах нөхөн сэргийх нь бидний амьдралын хамгийн чухал хамгийн үр бүтээлтэй ажлуудын нэг гэдэгт би үнэхээр хэрэгтэйдэг. Тэгээд энэ төсөл дээр бидэнтэй хамтран ажилласан бүх баг хамт олондоо маш баярлаа гэж хэлнэрэн. We're so strong at community engagement. We're so strong at building economies. And we have a real contribution to make to this sector. 